Okay, you can see there's the, um, the front of the pedal box. So that corner that I've added there needs to be chopped out in this pedal panel so that it will fit properly. So that's all I'm going to do today. Um, I'll have to cut out another hole for the steering rack location and blank that off, but I'm not going to worry about that until uh, I start sighting the steering rack. But yeah, I'm going to cut that corner off and then we can start fitting this, um, this cradle in. I've still got some work to do on it and I'm still waiting for some components to turn up. So um, just some strengthening and support around the corners. Uh, so yeah, let's crack on with that a bit first while we wait. What I might do is drill a hole there first, so I've got a nice little uh, round corner to actually take the cutting disc to. Well, that's that's gone in quite well obviously not a machine finish but um, you wouldn't really notice it even when you take it apart not too much anyway so I've mocked up this front end and I've got the steering rack in place and I've got the cradle in place for the front suspension and I've even got the um, one of the master cylinders for the brakes because this is the one that's going to be most in the way so because of the mechanism, the pin and rack and pinion mechanism for the steering rack that's jutting out of here, I'm not going to be able to get my angle as quite as high as I wanted. So I'm going to have to go lower and then I'm going to have another diagonal there that should clear everything. I'll probably do it in rod because it'll be easier to weld and, and, and smaller to the site and will give the rigidity I think I need. But um, yeah, so that's going to go in there, a rod in there and then same on the other side and uh, hopefully that's not too low. I might add some more rigidity if I can here and to the chassis as well to try and introduce some more torsional stiffness but we'll worry about that I think when, um, when this is all welded in. Another progress update, you can see most of this now is fully welded in. I've still got to do the diagonals here and on the other side as well, which I'm going to do in round tube because it's going to be easier to weld that in um, and it'll be a bit lighter as well. But yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty much coming together as it is on the 3D CAD. Um, but um, once I've done that, then the next stage is going to be sighting the steering rack and then putting the mounts in so I can actually add the suspension. So we're getting close to actually finishing this front end, which is kind of unbelievable. I'm sure I'm gonna find some extra things that I need to do. And we've got about six weeks to the first race in Silverstone, so I'm starting to sweat it a little bit. I think when I get to um, the 1st of April, and um, I still haven't started putting the car together, I might start worrying a little bit then, but I'm not worried yet. I'm still confident I can make it. 